And now for a little bit of magic. One ordinary finger and one rather extraordinary TV screen. Wherever my finger goes, up pop little stars. There you are, QPR, best team in the land. Now the glass is perfectly normal, so how does it do it? Well, if you look closely, you should be able to see a row of what look like little glass beads running along the edge of the screen. In fact, they're photodiodes, and they're transmitting individual beams of infrared to a row of receivers or photoreceptors over the other side. Exactly the same thing is happening in the vertical plane, so what you've got just in front of the screen is an invisible grid of infrared. And when I touch the screen, I'm interrupting both a horizontal and a vertical beam, giving the machine a precise coordinate of my little finger. And with a little programming, I can use the machine to make choices. I can now select items from that menu by touching them. So let's try tic-tac-toe. That's American for noughts and crosses, so no prizes for guessing where the software came from. Now, this is just an example. In fact, this machine is not a toy. It's proper purpose. It's designed to allow people easy access to a computer without having to use a keyboard. And in fact, it can even allow you to control machinery. Look at this setup over here, a bit odd looking perhaps, but what it does, we hope, will be fairly dramatic. A video camera and an air pistol, both pointing at a row of balloons against that wall. Now, the picture from that camera is being fed to this monitor. And from now on, that air pistol is under the direct control of my fingertip. And I can move the gun up or down, left or right. So let's go for that balloon there. And now all I have to do is to touch the screen once more and that gun will fire a pellet at that balloon. <laughs> ah, it is nice when it works.